Hey, what's up guys? Tony Teaches Tech here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add your author bio to the bottom of your WordPress blog posts using a plugin called Add Inserter. When we're done here, you're going to have something that looks like this. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get right into the tutorial. So right now I'm in the WordPress admin dashboard. And before we start, just make sure you have the Add Inserter plugin installed. It's the one by Igor Funa. Igor Funa. Okay, so once you have that, click on settings. And in here, by default, it's going to look something like this. What I want you to do is type the following. It's actually something that I'm going to have linked in my blog down in the description below. So you can just go to my blog, copy it, modify this as necessary uh, because you want to personalize this for your own blog. So right here, uh, just ignore pretty much everything except for what I got highlighted on the screen here. This is the, the content of the bio. It's just two sentences. Mine personally says, since, since we're working with a, a cereal blog here, since he was a child, Tony has eaten thousands of bowls of cereal. Learn how Tony got his start as a cereal guru and why he decided to start this cereal blog. If you want to send Tony a quick message, then visit his contact page here. So you'll see if you're familiar with HTML that we have a link to our contact page and we have a link to our about page. Like I said, personalize this as necessary and leave everything else the same because this is uh, actually the other, the other part you can personalize is the meet the author. You can say meet Tony Florida, meet whatever you want to put up there. So um, go ahead, type that in. Let's call this author bio just for organizational purposes. We want to make sure that this PHP button is enabled because we're going to execute some PHP code right here to get our, uh, our image our picture of our face and that's something we're going to look at towards the end of the tutor tutorial but um, we're going to come back to that so just make sure we don't forget to do that anyway insertion is going to be after the content and um, I played around with all these different settings you can kind of see where everything ends up if you click on these three lines no if you click on here yeah so these are all the different options we want after content which is right here it's going to be pretty much after the last paragraph in your blog post. The alignment default is fine. And if for some reason you have blog posts that you don't want the author bio to show up, then you should probably click on this use exception for individual blog posts and have the default insertion enabled or disabled. Um, but since I want them to show up on all my blog posts, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. So this looks good. Let's, um, Let's go ahead and save this. And just to make sure everything looks okay, except for the thumbnail, let's look at one of our blog posts. So let's go to Serial Guru, Serial.Guru. Uh, let's check out this Baby Shark Serial blog post that I wrote just the other day. And there we go. So we have Meet the Author, like we said, that little blurb about me. And the only thing we're missing is the image. So how do we get that image? Well. If we go to our WordPress dashboard again and go to your profile, edit my profile, and scroll down to your profile picture. So it says you can change your profile picture on Gravatar. And uh, I'm actually signed into my Tony Teaches Tech Gravatar account. So I'll go through the process of setting up a Gravatar account with you. So what we're gonna do is click on one of these links here, create your own Gravatar. And here we want to use the email address that is associated with your WordPress website. So mine is Tony at serial.guru. Let's just say serial guru and type in a password. Create your account. Okay, so go ahead and confirm that you got the uh, confirmation email. Okay, and it looks like I got mine. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my account. And there we go, the email was confirmed. And right here we can add our first Gravatar image by clicking on this link right here. And let's upload one from our desktop. And for lack of a better headshot, I'm gonna use this one from a while ago. It's an, an oldie but goodie. And we can go ahead and crop as necessary. It's gotta be a square picture though. So um, this looks good right here. So crop image. And it's rated G for me. Uh, you got to select a rating, so go ahead and set that. And there we go. So I think if we go back to 
our WordPress admin dashboard. It might take a few minutes. I've seen this in the past where it takes like up to five minutes for your avatar to show up, but we can confirm that it's here by going to your profile. You can already see it down here. And now you have your Gravatar image. So if we go back to the website and click on one of our blog posts, scroll down to the author box, you'll see the picture that we just uploaded to Gravatar and our author bio with a couple links in here, which is exactly what we set out to do at the beginning of this tutorial. So that's about it. That's all I really got for you guys. If you have any questions about adding an author box to your website, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked it, subscribe to my channel. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.